Hey YouTube family, this is the Shy Town Gardener. Just want to give you a little update. So you can see our um, purple cabbage. I planted some uh, green cabbage, some collard greens, cucumbers. There are some tomatoes here. Let's get pepper plant. Pepper, tomato, tomato, tomato back there and a few pepper plants. Tomatoes. We love tomato plants. Planted a couple of watermelon. So we're gonna see how it go. And let me kind of zoom in on our apple tree. You see the blooms on the apple tree. Uh, my daughter Crystal will be happy about that. Because when they were little kids, they loved the apples from that apple tree. So there it is. The Shy Town Gardener. Um, so we've been a little busy and we hope that everyone have a great weekend. What we're looking forward to is to be able to harvest some food this year. I remember last year we had an issue with squirrels. So I've talked to a few people about that. And there is a squirrel trap. So we're, we may be investing in that and see if that can um, uh, be a solution. Also, someone was telling me about, and we used this some years ago because we had a problem with raccoons eating into the garbage can and getting into our garbage cans. So uh, they told us about uh, this spray, I guess it mimics coyote urine or either it is coyote urine. So I'm going to see about that, see if that will work as well. But just want to give you a little view. I'm going to have to get out here and cut this grass. My grass is getting kind of tall. And that generally happens around the end of April, beginning of May. That's my granddaughter's rocking horse. Uh, I think we may get rid of that in the old swimming pool we had last year. But we're going to be getting rid of that. I haven't done anything with those raised beds yet. And I'm thinking I may not. I may just uh, put those up. I think I have enough. We'll see how the year progresses. Uh, because I was going to use those strictly for greens. Uh, we'll see how the year progresses. And uh, one thing I do know, I planted gr greens last year in August. And by October, man, I had a ton of greens. So we may do something similar to that. So we'll see what happens, but I'm excited. And I thought my, my tree needs to be pruned. Let me kind of zoom, zoom in on this tree. There's some dead branches there. I go uh, some dead branches right there. I'm gonna get my ladder and either I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna pay somebody else to do it because I don't know if my wife will trust me getting on a ladder. They are very protective of me since I injured my knee and my hip and they don't want the old man to hurt himself but we'll see what happens but i'm really really pleased with all of the blossoms that are on this apple tree so i get enough apples we can do something with that we'll do some experimentation uh try to create some apple butter and some of those other things so anyway we'll see what happens but uh, looking forward to a great year this year, and we hope everyone else will do the same. Um, we live in the Chicagoland area, so uh, there was some talk that they may lift the restrictions, the COVID restrictions, uh, pretty soon. That will be good. Now I don't know what that would entail. Uh, if that means you don't, you no longer have to wear a mask or. Uh, does that mean you can gather in groups? I don't know what that means, but we'll find out. Uh, last year was a strange year. We experienced some stuff we've never experienced. I went into Walmart. There, It looked like a bomb went off. Nothing on the shelves. No meat, no vegetables, no anything. It was just... <laughs> I guess my wife's foreknowledge to have stocked up on some stuff uh, beforehand without knowing about COVID, uh, having uh, the freezer full of uh, food and so forth. And, and uh, my wife has always been a collector of toilet paper. So we were blessed on that end. And we were able to get through it. And I do know the 
suburb right next to us had a power outage and their power was out for about three or four days. That's enough to destroy what you have in your freezer. So uh, I was watching Homestead Heart and Miss Homestead Heart uh, is an expert canner and she um, has some great videos. And it was reminiscent, watching those videos were, was reminiscent of my grandmother who was also an expert canner from Louisiana and, and those parts of Mississippi. And uh, I just hate that I didn't pay attention when she was doing all of that. But thank God for people like uh, Miss Homestead Hart, who has a ton of videos. And uh, we will be purchasing a canner. So if I can uh, um, do that, if we ever have a power outage, we won't be in, up in arms because we'll have food stocked up that won't go bad because there's no power. So it's all about being proactive and not reactive. Uh, we learned a lot of things last year and we hope that we could build on what we learned last year. So this is the Shy town Farmer, base, uh, I keep saying Facebook family, but a YouTube family. We uh, hope you have a wonderful week and we will be connecting with you later on in the week. All right. God bless.